All right, this is your crypto mining notification. As of, well, we're in the wee hours of Saturday, February 10th. Crypto mining has pretty much doubled for CPU mining on NiceHash. It's, it was hovering yesterday about in the 30 cents around that range or so. It wasn't looking good for me or my CPUs, the ones I'm using, which are the Ryzen 9 3900Xs. This is the current profitability at 73 cents. Uh, that is without electricity. So if I put in my electricity cost, oh, what is it? 11 cents on the last time I looked at my bill. And let's go do this. This is the nice hash profitability calculator. And it should drop a bit to 46 cents. And well, let's see. It was, yeah. All right. With electricity, I think it was before low 30s. So it kind of went up about, I'm going to say about 15 cents. Uh, this is after electricity cost. So it is kind of a nice little jump. It's again, it's not the way it was back at uh, around Thanksgiving time where it was pretty decent about, I think, a buck 50 profitability on each uh, on these little Ryzen 9 3900s. If you guys have newer ones, you're probably looking at nicer hash rates, nicer profitability. And uh, yeah, good for you. But I did not buy any of the newer hardware. These are. um. Oh my God, I think these are purchased in 2021, 2022 at the latest. Uh, yeah, so they've been around. They're working pretty good. Um, I had the heat, the, the fan, the prism fan. There's a switch on high and low. On some of them, I had it on high for no reason. So I just put it to low and temps are still, still fine. I uh, went through, got the dust bunnies out with the, uh, the computer compressed air cans. And uh, yeah, they're running good. They're running under 60 Celsius, which is, I'm happy. That's the green zone. But uh, yeah, profitability has jumped up and it's looking a little better. It's not great. So let's go over to my, uh, oh my gosh, where is my dashboard? Uh, let's find it together. Let's, there we go. Dashboard mode activated. I kind of dropped. It was at six bucks up here. So I got my little seven rigs, one little Ryzen 5 as usual. You guys know the drill. Look at my other videos, see what I'm running. It's, it's right here. It's pretty much the 3900s and a couple other ones, hires and lowers. Uh, I was trying to run Intels. Does not work, man. The Intels do not do much with CPU mining. Uh, it's just the way they're designed versus the AMD Ryzen's. Yeah, so it just, I don't know. I tried it. I was going, this is just not worth it. I powered those off. Um, and it just wasn't worth it. I don't want to burn my laptops out and just for nothing and burn all that electricity and put a lot of wear and tear on them using the old Intel chips. Intel chips are fine on your motherboard if you're doing GPU mining because you really just want the board to boot up and then boom, let the PCIe slots do all the work through the uh, onboard computers, the mother, the, the chips on the, uh, on the, uh, the chips on the, um, the GPUs do all the work, not the motherboard. When you're GPU mining, Kind of a different, different, uh, what do you call it? Operational mode versus, uh, yeah, CPU, memory sticks, et cetera, versus uh, GPUs are really doing all the heavy lifting in the mining operation. Yeah. All right. Let's see where we at. So 435, I've been running for three days now. Uh, kind of left that solar mining thing on Zerg pool behind. It just was not there for me. I mean, take me, it would take me like three months just to get the 50 bucks at that so I could get my payout. So I think 50 to 60 bucks is the minimum payout, 0. 0.00015 Bitcoin, whatever it was. I said, nah, I'm not into that. Going back to what I know, I like nice hash. I didn't want to go back to the way I used to mine, chasing that little most profitable stuff, playing all these little pools. It's just, I've done it. I'm not going to do it again. This is for me easy autopilot the only big concerns i really have now is i do a battery backup on these machines but when we do have power hits uh the battery backup only lasts for about 30 minutes and then boom the machine shut down that's one issue I, i've had the other issue i have had it's pretty much external to my control so power second one is the dudes ripped out a power pole wasn't labeled correctly guess what it had the at&t fiber on the pole boom whole town goes down. It's pretty impressive. You can't make this crap up. Uh, so that took about a, hmm, I think it was like a 14 hour hit from mining again. Wow. What I lose? I think I lost two bucks that day. Woohoo. Big deal. But uh, those are the, ex the external factors affecting mining for me right now. 
Uh, I've got the latest XM rig installed on each machine. I use XM rig. Uh, that has the best benchmarking for CPU mining. For me, it may be different for you. If you're using a different algorithm for and you get better benchmarking, let me know which one you're using. Uh, I did, I'm just curious on the, on the random X Monero, which algorithm you think works best. So far, it's the latest XM rig, but be warned or be noticed, be notified uh, when you do download Nice Hash Mat Miner. I did make another video. It only gives you up to, oh God, I forget what it was. Hold on. Let's go to one of these rigs. If I can bring one of these up, and it's going to take forever to bring a rig up here. Great. Uh, they give you an earlier version of XM rig. You have to manually go and uh, download the XM rig six right here, 6.21.0. I went to the GitHub, downloaded the XM rig zip zip archive and installed it. And you got to go through all that. Is this, you know, Chrome doesn't like this download. It's not going to let you. You have to override all that crap and install it. Uh, I think, God, I forget the old version. Oh, let's check. I might have it on five. I think I did not update five. Oh my gosh, this is slow. Again, oh, hang on there. So yeah, you have to manually download to get the latest. Once I've got the latest XM rig on, things run a bit better. Things have been more stable. You no longer get the XSR uh, mod error like here. Oh, this one's acting up. So this is the old one. 6.8.1 6 is what the nice hash miner gives you and uh, updates that to the latest. That thing, a nice hash miner thinks that is the latest. And that's just probably they don't have time to uh, keep the most latest versions. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, under their control, under their management and push them out. So you can do it. I downloaded the latest. Not on this one. I thought it'd be interesting to leave the old one out there just to see what happens. Hey, you're still getting some red errors now and then. And this is our little Ryzen 5. If I see stuff like that, sometimes I'll just come in here, kill it, and boot it back up. Sometimes you get the excess. You get this XSR, oh man, MSR mod error again. Again, why am I getting it when I just said I don't get it? Well, because I'm running 681, not the latest one, which is 621. That'll get rid of all your errors, baby. Look at that. No errors, runs clean. So, uh, about 70 cents on this guy right now. So let's go back here. What I do on this, if you do get that XSR mod error on an older version of XM rig, boom, kill it, pause it, start it back up. And it goes away. Magic. Yeah. Anyway, that's where I'm at. It's not looking the greatest, but it's better than what it was a couple days ago. So yeah, I'm uh it's, instead of making two bucks a day with seven rigs. Oh uh, look, it jumped. I'm up to almost 531 now. And uh it was good earlier today. I saw earlier by maybe four hours ago, I saw seven bucks. I'm like, wow, all right, it's coming back. Good. Yeah. It'd be nice maybe to keep stacking these little coins because or stacking the Bitcoin because um the halving's coming up in uh Oh my God, 413. So we're on tax time. The Bitcoin halvening, whatever they call it, uh, it's coming up. And again, it might be like that whole ETF uh, event we went through where you buy on the way up the rumor and we know it's coming. So it's kind of rumor, rumor, you know, rumor intelligence. And then once it comes out, it may drop. You just don't know. And people are saying it's going to go up. And if it doesn't go up, it's going to go down. Oh, duh. Or it's going to do nothing else. Like, Whatever you guys feel, you got to feel yourself out there. Do you believe in the coin? Do you believe in the project? It's your money. Um, it's your investment. I like it. It's fun. Mining's fun. I do not put any more in other than I do put a couple bucks in the ETF just to play with it to see what's going on there. And I put a couple bucks in um, buying Bitcoin directly through one of the uh, brokerage things just to see how that works. Because uh, again, not your keys, not your coins. They own, they own all that crap. But and they sell it at, a, I forget what the percentage is. Ah, I wish, I, oh, I can't remember, 2% over the price, which I think it's a little higher than usual, or it's about what Coinbase was charging. But it's good. I can quickly dump it, make a little profit, and then all the taxation crap on the uh, short-term, long-term capital gains is already recorded for me. And that's, to me, that's a win, because that's a, that's a pain in the butt to do it yourself around tax time. When did I buy it? When did I tell that? Do I have long-term capital gains? Do I have short-term capital gains? Do I have a lot? Uh, did I exchange anything? Uh, it's just so stupid. Um, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. It takes a lot of time. But if someone's going to do that reporting for me, yeah, why not? Makes my life easier. All right, that is all I got. A little update. I just wanted to put this out there in case anybody watches this and say, hey, I haven't had my rigs on in a while. And uh, again, my whole, what do you call it? One of my daily routines is uh, if the rigs are off, I'll go over to Chrome here. 
and I'll check the profitability with my power because that's just keeping it real. You can you can lie to yourself and put the electricity cost at zero, but that's not doing you any good because you're still going to get a bill every month for your electricity, eh, electricity usage. So 46 cents. I did have the rigs off. Like I said, um, I think last week it was way it was in the 30s, which just wasn't worth it. So I had them off and I took that time to clean out the coolers, the fins, the fans, blow them out with the air and um, clean off the motherboards, tidy up some of the uh, cables. But again, I learned not to make things too nice because you always have the, have to end up moving something. And if you have everything all tucked away nice and clean, like in a nice professional rack, it's like, eh, it's just, it becomes a pain to unsnip the uh, zip ties and the wraps. It's just make it clean, but make it easily accessible in a mobile if, you know, like, a, like you gotta, you gotta do something real quick and move and get to a board. You, you, you don't want it to undo everything. So keep it tidy, but don't overdo it unless your uh, OCD kicks in and you freak out and you have to do it. That's on you. But uh, that's all I got. Go forth through great thing. Turn the rigs on. Let me know what you're doing. If uh, GPU mining's coming back, somebody let me know. I've not been up on that as much. I don't know if I want to go there again. I just sold two 6,600, probably lower than I should have. And then you take out the old eBay uh, theft fee of 14%, those crooks. And then, um, you know, I got a couple bucks that I'll maybe pay for one week of groceries, right? Which is, all right, that works for me. Uh, and then I'm not, I don't have two pieces of hardware sitting here gathering dust. But I have, I think, two 6600s XTs and a lot of 1660s. I got the big boys all gone. 3080s are all gone, those power-hungry monsters. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I'm not going to do GPU anymore. I'm not even going to do ASICs. I don't. I have a whole rant on that thing as well. Um, I want something where I'm driving my car and that makes mine's crypto for me through the internal combustion engine. That's what I want. Yeah, that'd be good. Somebody work on that for me. All right, Musk, where are you? Oh, I guess you need a Tesla. That, didn't someone do that with the Tesla mo computer on the car? They had it mining crypto. I can't remember. All right, somebody let me know. Bye.